Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome to Five Minutes with Phil. It is great to have you for the Friday Five. We have hit the weekend, and now we're going to look at God's Word together as we take a look at the next few days. Let's let's check out a verse that I think can carry us through these next few days and really uh, remind us of how important it is for us to do things God's way. You know, I, we we could be a stubborn people, can't we? We really can. We, we, we can really, really think in our heads that we know how to do things better. I think a lot of us are just, we're, we're wired that way. We think we've got a perspective that maybe somebody else, especially God, does not have. And uh, it's either our way or the highway, right? My way or the highway? And sometimes we uh, attribute that attitude towards the Lord, and I think that could get us into some trouble when we do that. Uh, I read this verse from Psalm 19, verse 7, and I'm actually reminded of uh, something a little bit different. Take a look at this. Psalm 19, verse 7 says, The instructions of the Lord are perfect, reviving the soul. The decrees of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. I think a big problem that we have in our culture right now is the uh, the kind of the watering down of the Word of God. What I, what I mean by that, um, we we are we we find our culture making moral decisions based on anything but the Word of God. We might make it based on our experience. We might, uh, here's a dangerous one, we might make our decisions based on how we feel. Um, we might make our decisions because of our current circumstances. You know, for example, I've, I, I've seen people that have um, made a decision or they have an, a, at least an opinion on something uh, because they have a loved one who might be caught up in a certain sin or a certain lifestyle, whatever you want to call it. And because of that, I've seen Christians actually kind of edit God's word in their minds and say, well, I think God's okay with that. Even though the Bible's clear about that particular topic or that particular situation. And the, the, the danger I think that we can run into as followers of Jesus is thinking that we are the exception to what God's word has to say. That it applies to everybody else, but in a particular situation, it doesn't apply to me. That could be a sin issue. That could be uh, whether I choose to forgive somebody or not. Uh, whether I'm told in the scriptures what to do and I just don't do it. Or the scripture tells me what not to do and I go ahead and do it. And I somehow justify that. And then I read this scripture again. The instructions of the Lord are perfect. Understand this. The way that God's word has outlined things for us to live that that is perfection uh, the 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 writer of this psalm goes on to say it revives the soul the decrees of the lord are trustworthy and they can even make the simple person wise when when we think that we kind of have a handle on what the word of god supposedly says as opposed to what it says we really find ourselves walking on some really thin ice spiritually. I really want to encourage us today. Let's embrace what God's word has to say. Let's not deviate from it. The truth is what sets you free. Truth sets us free. The ultimate truth is God's word. It never changes. And so I encourage you today and all weekend to really keep that in mind. If God's word says to do it, I'm going to do it. If God's word says to not do it, I'm going to avoid doing that. 
And I believe that, as the scripture says, that will revive your soul. So I challenge you with that today. Let that uh, carry you for the next few days. And um, I think you'll be blessed for that. Okay, I got to let you go. Thanks for joining me. We love you. And I pray you have a good weekend. Until next time, we'll see you later, okay? Bye-bye.